Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is the five best world boss camps that you can do right now. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Now coming in at number one we have the Reigns of Poseidus farm or Poseidus. Basically this guy spawns in five locations. One in the abyssal depths and, and four other spawn points in the shimmering expanse. Now what you're going to be looking for is Poseidus the world boss and he spawns once every four hours. Now this means that you have once every four hours you have a chance of seeing Poseidus and killing him. He has a hundred percent drop chance on the reins of Poseidus mount and that means the reins and the reins of Poseidus actually average from anywhere from about 8,000 to 20,000 gold for this mount. That means if you have a load of ults that are doing jackal and you want to actually see if you can make some decent gold, you can always camp all four spawn locations in Vashir. Now Vashir is not a heavily farmed area and that is because Vashir is pretty crap. And overall that means you have more of a chance of getting hold of the reins of Poseidus. So if you have a few ults that just don't do all that much, we shove one of them in the Shimmering Expanse and one of them in the Abyssal Depths and just camp those locations for the reins of Poseidus. Now this is a good way of making some additional gold even if you are just logging on once a day check if he's up. If he's up, you've just gained yourself either 8,000 to 20,000 gold in a mount. So it's definitely worthwhile in order to do, providing you actually have some ults that don't actually do an awful lot. But overall, definitely a great farm to do. But that being the case, at number two, we have Not Karosh. Now, Not Karosh is on a 20 minute respawn timer. Not Karosh is actually located in Frostfire Ridge and basically is a massive giant wolf and pretty much is always up. That being the case, Not Karosh drops a 100% drop chance mount, and that is the Garn Night Howl. Now, the Garn Night Howl doesn't sell for all that much, it's a roughly from anywhere from about 400 gold to upwards of around about 1000 gold and even sometimes up to about 2000 gold but that's pushing it really far up the spectrum. The thing that you do want to bear in mind however is if you are a lazy gold maker this is a great way to do gold as you can do this while AFK while doing something else. It's because of the respawn timer. Now Not Karosh is on a 20 minute respawn timer so from anywhere of killing Not Karosh you have 20 minutes before Not Karosh respawns and then you get another gun Hut Night Howl. This is a great way because you can actually get three of these in an hour and that means that you are going to be able to get a hold of three every hour which equals in anywhere from around about 1,500 gold worth all the way up to 3,000 gold worth and sometimes if we're pushing the spectrum 6,000 gold but overall not really an, an awesome gold per hour for this farm but however the mount does sell the next thing is you can do this pretty much afk so you can go off and do something else for 20 minutes come back see if he's up it's one of those ones where oh i'll just see if if not Karosh is up and then just kill it and then just see how many you can gather just by logging in every every hour or something or every 20 minutes depends on how frequently you want to actually farm this guy up because every time you come in if it's up you kill it you've got a mount instant that you can sell in the auction house and it's quite a great way in order to make some lazy gold as if you don't have time to do an awful lot if you're just doing your professions you can just log in kill got your guy on night how it's a simple and effective farm for just a standard mount that you can sell on the auction house. But coming in at number three, we have Doom Lord Kazakh. And this one is the Kazakh in Outland, so in Hellfire Peninsula. And this is at the throne of Kill Jaden. Now this is commonly used as the primal fire farm, but you can also camp this area for Kazakh. Now, Kazakh will actually spawn in this location and overall drops some really sought after transmog items. This is why he is such a great world boss. 
and that is because he drops things like the Hope Ender. And these transmog items can sell from anywhere from about 10,000 gold all the way up to like 50k. It's like stupid money gold for these transmog items. Now bear in mind that these transmog items will take quite a while in order to sell, but at the end of the day, Transmog does sell, it just takes a while for them to sell. So if you wanted to spawn, if you wanted to camp this world boss, I would highly recommend this above all of the others, as overall this will bring you in more gold in the long run as opposed to the short term than with the other two we've just previously mentioned. Now coming out at number four, we have Gar. And that is basically a earth elemental that is located in Mount Haijiao. Now he is a Cataclysm world boss and primarily most of the Cataclysm world bosses have a chance of dropping some really nice transmog items. Now granted these ones don't sell for all that much gold but over time this actually does add up quite a lot. But what you're really looking for, as they are on a 4 hour respawn timer, is making sure that you actually farm this guy either on a tailor or a jewel crafter. Why? This is because the world bosses have a chance of dropping the high society top hat recipe and also the rhinestone sunglasses recipe. Now these recipes can be learned and then you can craft these two transmog items which you can sell on the auction house. Now the high society top hat and the rhinestone sunglasses are actually got a high amount of gold value towards them because these recipes are so hard to get. So if you are wanting to actually camp something in order to see if you can get hold of these recipes then definitely I would focus on farming up Gar because not a lot of people know where his respawn point is and overall he's near on always up when I go and check him on most of the other low pop realms and high pop realms that I actually am on, which I am currently camping all of the Cataclysm world bosses because I want those recipes. Now, aside from all of that, the other thing of note is you do get at least around about 200 raw gold when you actually kill him. So every four hours you get an additional bit of raw gold, some transmog items, maybe a gem recipe, and the chance of getting hold of the rhinestone sunglasses or the high society top hat recipes and overall is a brilliant way in order to maximize the amount of time that you're spending as you could just do a farm for a few hours and then you could just log in kill him and then just log back out it's really that simple in order to do now last on our list is doombringer and he is located in shadow moon valley outland now he is another world boss from from outland and basically he drops a load of other transmog items in which you can actually farm up. Now this guy is more heavily killed than Doom Lord Kazak. That is because a lot of people go over to the Black Temple in order to try and get hold of the Blades of Azanoth. And at the end of the day, Doombringer is usually up outside of the Black Temple. So he's not hard to miss, he's a huge Fell Reaver type thing. And pretty much just drops some amazing different pieces of transmog which you then you could also camp this with Doomlord Kazakh so at the end of the day you could just do a simple little flight route see if they both up and that is it but at the end of the day that is pretty much the five best world boss camps that you can do right now have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow